Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So this radio here is a Zygu 6100 HF and 6 QRP transceiver. It's a brilliant radio, it runs 5 watts on the internal battery. For an external battery, it will run 10 watts. Now, a message come up on Twitter saying, they bought one of these radios, what do I do with it? The first comment came in saying, chuck it in the bin. Don't do that because it's a brilliant radio. Second comment came in saying to buy the handles, which I might buy for mine. And the third comment came in saying to try the R1 CBU firmware, which we're going to try in this video. And the good thing about this is it runs off the SD card. And then once you finish with it, power down the radio, remove the micro SD card, and then you're good to go with the default software. Now, if you haven't seen how to do it, watch my black screen of death video. I'll show you how to flash a memory card and get the radio up and running again. And you can do exactly the same thing with this firmware. Just instead of installing the um, X61 firmware to the to the memory card, just install the R1 CPU firmware and uh, you'll be good to go. And I'll link in the description below, in the description box, where I got the firmware from. And in the end card, I will also link the black screen of death video. So the memory card is inserted. Let's fire up the radio and take a look. So it will take a, a few moments to boot. There we go picture of a wolf come up on the screen so I presume it's running some sort of version of Linux um, I'm not sure which version it might be XFE Linux there is a version of XFE Linux you can do FT8 directly off the radio so I need to play around with be nice if I can get this actually coming up on a bigger screen as well and there we go the radio is now booted you see here I'm on a richie frequency now the display isn't pink the display is bluish color my camera always picks it up as pink for some reason you see on the top here We've got a few options here. Let's just turn the volume right down. You can see here, we can when it highlights in red, it tells you what you've got running. So if I pressed on ATU, it says ATU on, you've got fast, ATT, attenuator, and mode, and so on. So here's your signal. Here is your time and your battery voltage. So 22, 12, 45. So I'm recording this on a Sunday night. And there's your battery voltage and the internal battery voltage. The bottom here, we've got audio volume squelch rf gain and tx power if i press the volve one to three again you got filter high and filter low go on gen if i press on app you'll see here we can decode ritty out of the box ft out of the box do an swr scan and do gps and when i did the gps i couldn't get it working at all it maybe i need an external dongle if i press one to two we got settings and if i go down I can change the date, the hour, and so on. Now, I don't think the time's right on my radio. It's 23.11. So I'm going to change it. Use the MFK key to go through. Click the MFK key, and we'll change that to 23. Let's go on the next one again. There we go, right, this one. Let's go back onto app. There we go, 23.11, go through. You can change the other options here, such as timeout, brightness, so mine's set to 60 seconds before the screen goes dim. We've also got um, button brightness, so it's temporary on. You've got the line in and line out adjustments there. You've got mag, frequency, info, and ALC on or off. Clock, you can do time and power if I click it. You've got always time, time and power, always power. I'll leave mine on time and power. We go down again you got uh, timeout clock ticks power and it goes back to the start there so i press on gen now i can run five watts through the radio without an external source i can even run 10 watts with this firmware installed on the on the radio and we can use the band button to go up and down the bands like normal the atu will function as normal and the um radio will now transmit out of band so for your 11 meter aficionados i tried it earlier on a dummy load Put it in, press the tuner button, and it tuned in a dummy load without any problems. I thought, okay, that's working. Just got to 20 meters. You can see here, it's on 20 meters. It's automatically selected uh, at the moment. So at the moment, we're on 14.070. If I go down, get some volume, and we'll try and get a Morse code signal. See if we can decode anything. Down again to get a stronger skin on that. Go 
place for strong arm. There we go, we are now decoding Morse code. Not very strong still coming in, but it did start picking it up. Top there, doing CQ. When it comes through. Let's try and find a stronger one. There we go, that's strong, that's decoding the Morse code. Now if I go up to, say, the second part of tw uh, four 20 meters, you can see here it's now saying 20 meter CW, it says there uh, 20 meter SSB, that should change our mode for us. There we go, change the mode. Say a noise warning there, let's turn it down, let's go to 074, and we'll attempt to decode some uh, FT8, press that one. So app and FT8. There we go. We should start seeing messages appear on the screen. Now it worked earlier on, no real problems. And the scene I've been playing around with, I'm not able to get anything come through. Maybe because our time was wrong on the radio. Because they do say when you do FT8, your time's got to be correct. So we see if any messages appear on the radio. PNRX, what I was seeing earlier. No, we're not actually decoding any FT8 data, but if I press on general and we got the band, we should hear some activity on the band. So you see it's gone black, but we'll leave it now for a few secs. There we go. So we find that Sugar 57 Delta X ray was strong earlier. There we go. This is. There we go. He's a strong signal when that comes in. I've worked him before using this, um, my Zyger 5100 or 5150, whatever it is, used it as a walkie talkie. So now, if you were to go down to say the RITI frequency, so that's 10.100, you can decode RITI. So if I press an app, the signal isn't very strong, so I might be able to decode nothing. If I press on rate, earlier on I set it to 50. I did shift, left it at 770 hertz, and pressed on reverse and turned it on. That's all I did, and it started decoding FT8 data. Let's try changing it so we can come through. My signal's not very strong coming through on 10.100. Now I could use 4583 and 7646, but I don't actually have my microphone, so I'm not going to go through that. It. It'll take ages to get down to them frequencies. But yeah, it was a quick look at the RB, R, R1 CBU firmware for the Zygu 6100. And once you've finished, just power off the radio. You can remove the SD card, and the radio comes back to normal. Let's take it out. Power on the radio again. I found about, out about this the other day, and this is more playing around with the, with the software. There is a version of XFE Linux that will run on this as well, which would be, be quite good. Apparently, I can do FT8 data right out of the box. So, I'm going to play with the FT8 more on this radio. There we go, radio's back to normal now. I'll play it more with this FT8 on the radio and see if I can get anything more to decode. But I did have it decoding FT8 earlier on in the daytime. Maybe I've got a lot of QRM around here with Chinese devices that are plugged in. Anyhow, if you found it some useful to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0IQJ. 73s for now.